it booktube it's thea and i am here with my stay home reading rush tbr so i'm getting this video out very late um the hashtag stay home reading rush uh, starts tomorrow which is april 16th and it goes on through april 19th so it's thursday through sunday um this is a short uh casual version of the reading rush which still takes place in july but this is just kind of to encourage everyone to stay home and be able to social interact with everybody online and uh, encourage more reading and i am super excited um it is coming at a perfect time so i have actually been furloughed from my job as of monday so i have time to actually read um this keeps my mind off of the stress of not working right now um and gives me the opportunity to be able to fully participate in the challenges and reading sprints and being able to complete a lot of reading so um super excited i'm bummed with not being able to work right now but i'm just trying to make the best of it and get things done around the house and I've been getting more reading done and I'm able to do some filming. So um, I'm just trying to stay positive through this um, crazy time. Um, I will be doing vlog for this edition of the reading. I don't know if I'm gonna do like daily vlogs um, or I might just do one long vlog. Not sure yet, um, now that I'm home, nothing's really happening. Um, on a daily basis so i might just do one long four-day vlog um but i do plan on vlogging and keeping you guys updated on my reading progress but enough of me rambling on let's dive into my tbr for the stay home reading rush so the first challenge is to read a book with a house on the cover i do have two different options for this challenge they are both audiobooks because i like to have an audiobook and a physical book and that way when I'm doing things around the house I can still be getting reading done. So um, my choice for the prompt of to read a book with a house on the cover I have either And There Were None by Agatha Christie. I have never read this. I know the story but I don't really know any of the plot points. Um, it's available on Scribd. It's only a few hours long so I figured I could try to pick this up. Or the other option is the library at Mount Char. Um, I don't remember the author, I'll put it here, but I've heard that this is really similar to Middle Game and a lot of people really like Middle Game. I haven't read Middle Game yet, um, but I've heard really good things about this and it sounds really intriguing. Um, so I have that as an audiobook as well. And then the second challenge is to read a book uh, set someplace you would like to go. Um, I am limited in what I'm working with because obviously with things shut down, I can't really go to the library or the bookstore. So I'm kind of just pulling things I already have at my house. For this challenge, I'm gonna pick up The Laird's Forbidden Lady. This takes place in Scotland, which um, is someplace that I have been wanting to go for quite a while and I've never been and I really want to. Um, and I haven't read this yet. This is a Regency romance. Um, it has ties. Seems like it's kind of similar to Outlander. So um, I picked this up at the thrift store a while ago and I've never read it. So um, I'm going to pick this up and read this. And it's not very long. It's like less than 300 pages. So it won't take very long to get through. Um, but what this is about, it says, uh, keep your friends close. Ian Laird of Dunrose is as rough and wild as the Highland Heather. Yet, the return of Sassanic Selina and her family to claim his land ignites hatred and passion in equal measure. Lady Selina is torn between family loyalty and wanton need for Ian. Tricked into marriage, she finds the Laird fulfills her every burning desire, but Ian is a man bound by duty. Can Selina be sure that his heart belongs not only to his clan, but also to the woman he has made his wife? So it sounds very much like Outlander season one, um, which I am not gonna complain about. I love Outlander, I need more Outlander in my life. So this is gonna be uh, what I choose to read for this. The uh, next challenge is to read a book in the same room the whole time. This isn't gonna be that hard for me. I pretty much either read here um, or my bedroom. So I'll just find a spot and pick this up. Um, I did go with a shorter novel, um, as in that way I can read it probably in one sitting. 
Uh, it's not really a novel, it's more of like a coffee table book, but I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna use it for this challenge and that is Harry Potter, A Journey Through a History of Magic. Um, I mean, obviously this does have like quite a lot of text in it, but it's also just like images and things like that. And I've owned this for a while and I've never actually sat down and read it. I've skimmed through it, but I've never read it in its, in its entirety. So I am going to pick this up and um, Harry Potter. I can always use more Harry Potter in my life um, and it makes me happy. So I'm gonna pick this up for this challenge. And the last challenge is to read a book that makes you smile. I am picking up Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I am late to this train and I've never read this. I'm actually about a hundred and I'm actually about 130 pages in or so. This is my uh, book club read for the month and we've been meeting virtually. So I do need to read this and this book is already making me smile and I love it. Um, it could also work as uh, the prompt for read a book set somewhere you'd like to go because this take, does take place partially in England and I really want to go to England as well so it really could go for either one of these challenges. So here is my pretty short uh, TBR for the stay home reading rush. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. Are you guys participating? If you are, what are you reading? Um, if not, just in general, what are you reading? How is your self-distancing stay at home, isolation going? Um, if you like this video, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.